All right, everybody, the Ice Age Trail is a national scenic footpath that stretches 1,000 miles across Wisconsin. It traces Ice Age formations, and there is a group dedicated to supporting and protecting this national treasure. Decades ago, in fact, the National Park Service thought it needed more attention, but thought it would be too difficult to take care of such a large trail. Well, hmm. thanks to volunteers, the dream eventually came true, and, and Congress passed legislation to preserve it. Which is awesome. Today, thousands of volunteers work with the Ice Age Trail Alliance to care for this incredible piece of natural history. And joining us now with more, Dave Kalibi and Doug Galaszewski. I did it. What's up, guys? <laughs> hey I, guys. Lo I love our friend here in the bow tie. Yeah. And I said you wear that every day to work? Uh, uh, just on the morning blend. Just on Saturdays. Swanky Saturdays. <laughs> and so. on the morning blend. Swanky but, Saturdays. Yep. I love it. How is it, guys, that I've not heard of the Ice Age Trail? That's awful, isn't it? It is, because uh, it's, it's been around for a long time, and uh, it started, um, the idea started almost uh, like 70, 80 years ago, right here in Milwaukee, and trying to preserve the Kettle a Moraine region, and they're like, well, let's build a hiking trail through there. So uh, we've been working uh, as the Ice Age Trail Alliance, the nonprofit group, uh, over the last, uh, uh, since 1958, to create the trail. And um, the last few years, we've really expanded our trail building opportunities and our outreach. Now we have a, a staff person that's 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 his job is the outreach and education of the trail and um, things like this coming on TV yeah. and uh, trying to get a lot of volunteers out who come enjoy the trail and spread the word. So it's wonderful. Yeah. Okay, so tell me a little bit about the trail itself. Why, I know 1,000 miles mm -hmm. go through Wisconsin. Where does it start? Is is it a it's a cross the nation? Uh, no, the Ice Age Trail is actually all in it's the state oh, of So this whole thing, okay. It's just in the state of well, Wisconsin. Well, where does it start in Wisconsin and where does it end? Uh, the, the eastern terminus is, a, is in Sturgeon Bay at Pottawatomie State Park. Okay. And then it travels south down through uh, Waukesha area, Janesville, up through Madison, up near Anago, then uh, hangs a left and goes all the way to the uh, Minnesota border in St. Croix Falls at Interstate State Park. One of the things I read about it, because I did a little research, because I was embarrassed, frankly, that I wasn't <laughs> uh, more aware of it, is that everyone or most of the people who live here in our state are within about 20 miles driving distance from the trail, a majority of the people in our state. Is that true? Uh, yeah. Um, it goes through the West Bend area, down through um, Heartland. Is, uh, the trail goes right through town. Uh, Delafield, though, and Lapham Peak uh, State Park, sure. which is just a quick, easy drive from uh, Milwaukee. And then it goes right through Madison. So That's those amazing. are kind of our, you know, the hot spots in Wisconsin. Have, yeah. you, guys, have you guys been on all 1,000 miles of it? You too? I have not. You have not. Dave has. You have. Uh, I've, I've hiked the whole thing. I did it in 2010. So. That's no cool. way. Yeah. You hiked all 1,000 miles yeah. in 2010? How long did it take you? Uh, about two months. Two oh months. Yeah. Did you sleep in tents on the way, or? Uh, yeah, I have a lot of friends along the trail, so <laughs> I, I, I can stay at a lot of houses. But I, I did camp, though. So okay. that is amazing. So we, we have a minute left. Let's let's talk about how you want to um, get help for this. Like, what do you mm -hmm. you have volunteers that come and and rebuild the trail, or what do you do? Definitely. So we have a few opportunities. So uh, what we have our mobile skills crew crew events. Uh, we have one in Delfield at Lapham Peak State Park coming in August 20th through the 20th. Uh, then we have a, a, a regional day that's happening in West Bend at Camp Silverbrook. We're going to be uh, rerouting about a half mile of new trail. Uh, that'll be September 25th through the 27th. And then there's also local events that are happening. Uh, the, the Waukesha Milwaukee chapter, uh, the Washington County chapter, Jefferson County chapter, they have work, work days or work evenings happening. Uh, two to three times per, per month. That is awesome. I'm yeah. going to put up the information because we ran out of time, but just really quickly, volunteers help by doing what? Is it cleaning up, things like that? There's Removing maintenance, branches? There's creating new trail. Um, okay. There's a lot of different volunteer opportunities. There's even at some of our larger opportunities, uh, there's cooking. Um, needs uh, for campers who are staying overnight. That is so cool. Yeah, okay, so the large scale trail building event is happening. That's the first date you mentioned, which is August 20th through 23rd at Lapham Peak. Mm -hmm. You can register online at iceagetrail.org slash events, but go there and find out about yeah. all these different events happening in different places along the trail, which is so close to us. And it was wonderful talking to both of you yeah. guys. Yeah, Thank you so guys. much. It was 
Fantastic. Yeah. Loved it. Thank Thanks you. for yep. sporting the bow tie yep. for us. Yeah, <laughs> I like that. We'll